I got introduced to Volkswagens at an early age um, through my interest in the surf and skate culture of California. Um, through my family's business, I got to take several trips out to California a year and um, really like was drawn into the, the surf and skate culture and everything that went with that. Part of the thing that went with that um, was Volkswagens. And so I bought my first Volkswagen at 17 years old and had no idea what I was doing. And because of that, it sat in my garage for a year and nothing ever happened to it. And the guy I bought it from took it back. Um, I always had that draw to the Volkswagen community and to the Volkswagens in general. Um, so about five years ago, um, I bought another Volkswagen. It was a 71 Super Beetle, that's what they called it. And that just kind of started the last five years of my obsession of Volkswagens and old cars and the community that goes with it. So as is typical with me, um, when I bought this 71 Beetle, I kind of jumped in again, not knowing anything um, about Volkswagens. But I knew people that knew people that were into old Volkswagens. So I got some names and some numbers and started calling up people out of the blue um, to come help me with this first uh, 71 Beetle I bought a couple years ago. And that just started a long relationship with a couple local guys. Um, we helped build a 66 Beetle that I bought. They've helped me with some other things and I've helped them with projects. And that's been one of the coolest things about the old Volkswagens for me has been the Volkswagen community that's kind of come along with it. I was really just started out being into the old cars and that kind of stuff, but the community that's been with it has been has been pretty awesome. I mean, they're always a resource to go to to learn things. Um, we've done campouts together. We rented garages and built and torn down and rebuilt cars and stuff together. And uh, those guys are always there pretty much <laughs> when I need a hand with something. These Volkswagens are a lot of fun. They're a lot of work and, and frustration and pain and hurt knuckles and stuff bringing these things back to life. But there's just a, a really um, neat connection to these old vehicles and your friends and doing this all together and the community that goes with it. Um, it's a good time.